My name is Kent Mullenix. I am the director of the Institute for Sustainable Food Systems at Kwantlen Polytechnic University. The Institute is an applied research and extension unit at the university focused exclusively on small scale regenerative community focused agriculture and farming systems. It's a pleasure to be here with you and to share my experiences and thinking about extension and the potential of extension services to serve BC's agriculture and food system sector. As I know you are aware, agriculture and our food system faces many sustainability challenges as we move into the 21st century and acknowledge, and acknowledge that sustainability is our supreme challenge not the least of which in that challenge is adapting to and mitigating climate change. And there's a great deal of interest in applied research and extension. However, there is a great deal of uncertainty and, and uh, lack of clarity around what extension is and what it can do. And that's the objective of our webinar today. We're going to discuss uh, agriculture extension and how it operates and how it can uh, serve BC's agriculture and food system sector going forward. So the objective of tonight's presentation is to clarify and convey the power and the potential and the necessity of agricultural extension. I hope to bring clarity to what extension is, how it's configured and how it can operate effectively, who can and should deliver extension programming, and finally, how extension can advance climate change mitigation and adaptation. So the place to begin, I think, is to discuss what extension is. It is practiced around the world and there is no universally accepted definition of extension. It's uh, uh, variably adapted to places and challenges. But regardless, it is constructed around a, a, a central methodology, a, a, a widely accepted central construct. Certainly, extension can focus on many different social and economic elements. For example, there can be youth development extension, economic development extension, uh, community extension, home horticulture extension. Uh, so so any, any uh, dimension of social or economic uh, development can be the focus of extension programming. Probably agricultural extension is the oldest and best developed extension focus. And that's what we're going to focus on in our discussions today, agricultural extension. So agricultural extension is the application of new knowledge that is derived from applied scientific research to agricultural practices through farmer engagement and education programming. It's a pretty simple and straightforward uh, concept. The purpose of agricultural extension, of any extension for that matter, is to transfer new knowledge and facilitate its adoption by the sector, in our case, agriculture and the food system, to affect change and improvement. It can focus on any aspect of agriculture agriculture mechanization, rural sociology, uh, pest management, soils and fertility management, uh, agricultural economics, farm business planning and, and business management, uh, to name a few. Regardless of its focus, agricultural extension is inextricably linked to applied research leading to knowledge creation, method creation, or tool creation. So the important message here is that uh, 
it's about new knowledge, transferring that knowledge to the folks that will use it, and affecting change in the sector. Extension also constitutes a very effective communication conduit between researchers and farmers or those who are going to use the uh, new knowledge, the methods, or tools. It's important to emphasize that this communication conduit is, is a two-way mechanism and is ongoing. So farmers communicating to researchers, researchers communicating to farmers, and um, envision a busy two-way street with cars going back and forth uh, constantly. That's what the kind of communication, what extension facilitates. That kind of communication is absolutely predicated on effective relationships, and we're going to talk more about relationships. Cooperation is also key to effective extension service delivery. In fact, I'd say it's essential. There must be cooperation between farmers and extension professionals and researchers. And it's that cooperation that supports the whole extension, knowledge mobilization, and sector change. In the U.S., cooperation is exhibited between three levels of government, the federal government, the state government, and county government or local government, and land-grant universities that are located in each state of the United States. And we'll talk about this model <clears throat> a little bit going forward, but we'll leave it there for now. But suffice it to say, because of this high level of cooperation between farmers, extension personnel, and researchers, and between levels of government and land-grant university colleges of agriculture, in the U.S., agricultural extension is called cooperative, the cooperative extension service. Ultimately, I think extension functions as the fulcrum and cement for sector advancement and change in this partnership and, and this high level of cooperation. And I think this is an important thing to note because many of the challenges that agriculture and our food system face today and will face going into the 21st century to uh, uh, become more sustainable, like climate change, adaptation, and mitigation, are highly complex problems that involve multiple actors and have many moving parts and take a great deal of effort to effectively address. And so it's extension that can facilitate that. It's extension, in my estimation, that can effectively bring all of that together and keep it all together and, and make change happen more effectively. So ultimately, I, uh, extension, effective agricultural extension, is predicated on relationships. And I want to emphasize this. And it's not a, just a casual relationship. It's a very deep functional relationship. I describe it as genuine, mutually respectable, very durable, and, and, and a roll up the sleeves, make it happen kind of relationship. And, and really, researchers and farmers and extension personnel function as a close-knit team. So extension creates a team mentality.